what we have for lunch. It's some Bumba Way. Welcome to Dallas. <laughs> We're here to spend the weekend in away from Saigon in this beautiful mountainous region of Vietnam. Ah. My spot. That is so romantic. <laughs> we have blueberry yogurt drink here. And if you didn't know, yogurt is actually made in the lot as well. And we have white coffee here. Why it's called white coffee is just has more milk in it. Just cafe space with all these planted little daisies and then there's tons of seating areas outside and inside. Inside makes it looks like a shed right here. It's really beautiful. It is happy. Contemplating, do not go off the edge, puppy. I've never seen a breed like that. that would be all these beautiful dogs. Oh my gosh. Dala is known for growing strawberries, so as you can see there's strawberries, strawberry jam, tons of strawberry products all over because they're fresh. Even some dried strawberry snacks. Strawberry juice. Those are the farms of Dalat, so the because of the mountainous region is really cool down here, so they grow it in greenhouses. Yeah, like they get the back of the and get a lot. Oh my god, oh, they got a net underneath. I love these beautiful flowers all over the lot. Stopping at this random cafe for lunch. After our drinks, we're gonna just get something to eat. But look how cool! This is literally in the middle of the whole cafe. Like this river running through it. This whole setup of plants everywhere. <laughs> so cool. This is what we have for lunch. It's some Bumba Way. With this view of the lab. It's so nice sitting outside here because it's not hot like when you're sitting outside in other parts of Vietnam. So you can just enjoy the cool breeze but actually being outdoors. That is such a weird, magical, fantastical place. Like, look at this tunnel of wind. <laughs> and love. Okay. <laughs> Making the kids running back and forth. So he got in trouble because he, wasn't, he wouldn't run back. Yeah. <laughs> Do 
We're the only ones here. What? Why? So quiet. Yeah. Close up the camera. What? Close with your face. Close with your teeth. Mm. You see it? No. So one of the locals said it's a combination of religions. So oh, it's not only Buddhism, yeah. but it's other religions too. <laughs> Very informative. <laughs> I'll look it up. But wow, it's beautiful. It's a huge complex and so quiet. I mean, you hear the roosters. But other than that, we're the only ones here. So, I'm ready. Kaudai is a mixture of religions um, and apparently it's from Buddhism, Islam, uh, Christianity and, and many more um, yeah. just to create like the ideal religion and to unite people, especially in North and South Vietnam. Uh, oh, and apparently it has okay. 3 million followers. That's a lot of people. Yeah, and it's most popular in uh, the South of Vietnam. So oh, I'm not sure okay. if the reuniting really helped, but they tried. Oh, I didn't know that about my own birth country. Da Daoism. Daoism? Yeah, that's like Cao Dao is the name yeah. of the religion. And, um, isn't that the name of the emperor that was here? No, that's Dao. <laughs> same, same bit. Yes. Hello. Nope. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Okay, come on. Fresh. Sausage. Mm, yeah, yeah, with quail egg and with beef and mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And it's hot and fresh. The turtle. The turtle. Oh, huh? I love the dragon motifs everywhere. Now we're going up. Okay, this Lin Fuk Pagoda, which is literally across from the Gao Dai Temple. It's huge and the details is impeccable. There's little details in every little thing here. Dragon, 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 dragon. Where does it come up? Look, the dragon's head. 
It's made of beer bottles. It's made of beer bottles? Yeah, look. Oh, that's so cool. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> now that's how I call reuse, reduce, and recycle. This is Banyan House. It's a must check out in Dalat for its beautiful design between a homestay, a restaurant, and a bistro. I just love the space here, like the Japanese lanterns, the thatched roof, the shutters. As the French influence extended too far, even the Moulin Rouge the elite Vietnamese and also the French colonials that reside in Dalat but now it has been turned into a teacher's college and still being used today and you can see the arches so the French influence in the architecture and this really cool tower that is seen throughout all of town because we're up on a hill so did your parents go here? No, they're from the south side. Uh, I thought it was because you were a trust fund kid. <laughs> Love the colors of the shutters against the faded yellow and the orange thatch roof. It's very beautiful. If we were going to university together here, I went to an elite boarding school in Vietnam, he would be my romantic lover. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Yeah, I thought so. Squeeze. Oh, no. Oh my god. That looks so scary. This is Ban Ut Longa, which basically translates to this rice paper, this rice noodle, and has pieces of chicken in it with, what was this? I think it's like some rice cake. You taste it. Mmm, rice cake. Because it's chewy, it's crispy on the outside. Very chewy like doughy on the inside, as you can see from the and it looks like. Um, then we have you know fish sauce poured all over the bowl. And this Chang is the owner of this place. This place has become a dala must eat for this special dish of dala. It's like a knife. The fish sauce is not the typical sweet fish sauce that you would get. Because it goes well with the lime that's in here and the peppers as well. Mm. I dig this. 
Da Lat is our favorite place in Vietnam outside of Saigon, so there will be more adventures in this mountain retreat in the next video. For now, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of the city so far, and subscribe if you haven't already.